So I'd like to use uh, Greenland as an example of a ecosystem with a low primary productivity. Uh, this is an image of the edge of the Greenland ice sheet um, towards the south uh, west part of Greenland. Um, this area is dark for a large part of the time in the winter, of course, because it's a very high latitude. And the area is also very cold, in part because it doesn't get sunlight in the winter and also because of the, the cooling effect of the large ice sheet. So in this area, there is very little vegetation. Um, there are just uh, lichens and a few small grass and, and mosses growing in this area. And um, this is one of my photos in this area here. There are these, these ptarmigans, which are birds that eat uh, the plants. One of the only other grazers is a reindeer. This is an image that, that I took from the web. So in this particular environment, because of the high latitude, I, the lack of light in the, in the winter and the um, cold temperatures, we have low primary productivity. All right. So the initial amount of biomass is low and because it's low and only 10% of it gets into the mass of the grazers only 10% um, can go into these larger organisms like the reindeer and the ptarmigan so basically even the grazers are sparse or rare in this environment because there's there's such a low biomass and in fact there's so few reindeer and uh, ptarmigan there are not any major predators in this part of Greenland um, except occasionally humans. So I'd like to use the Amazon tropical rainforest as an example of a high primary productivity region. Uh, the Amazon rainforest is near equatorial uh, latitudes and it is warm and gets sunlight all year round and there's a very, very large biomass. So this is a, an overview image um, of a dense forest and in parts of the forest you have a huge diversity of plants and primary productivity. Some capture the sunlight at the top of the forest canopy and then all sorts of other uh, plants grow um, beneath that, that uh, upper canopy. And that leads to a very high biomass that can be consumed uh, by uh, grazers, and then all sorts of other animals that um, include predators like the jaguar um, or uh, frogs that eat insects, insects that eat uh, plants or other insects, a uh, variety of birds. And so when you have this very, very high primary productivity, you end up with a large uh, biomass And you can get a very uh, a diverse uh, food web with lots of members in it. And those, those members play different roles in the ecosystem and they interact with each other. But to have sort of that wide diversity of specialized organisms because only 10% of the biomass is transferred each to each trophic level where something's consumed, you have to have a very, very high primary productivity. And so the rainforest, one of the reasons they're, they're so valuable on Earth uh, is they have this high diversity, they also have this high biomass, they store a lot of carbon, and they're, they're places where the interactions among animals can lead to uh, a huge diversity 
uh, in terms of uh, evolution and ecosystem function. Thanks for watching.